Hello YouTubers, Dave out in Western Pennsylvania, USA. I work with batteries. Uh, I'm particularly focusing here at school on uh, thin film conducting uh, solid state batteries and uh, thin films which are conductive and uh, that I use in solid state uh, design. Anyway, here I like uh, playing with aluminum batteries and here I have some uh, from Asbury Graphite Mills in New Jersey, Asbury, New Jersey, a generous gift from them. I have flake graphite. I have here what is called a C-line uh, C-line topper. These are the uh, page holders. I believe they're made out of polypropylene. Anyway, there's a video. I'll give you the reference uh, where the uh, gentleman was able to take a section of that. I cut it out and with paper towel you rub that section that you cut out with graphite, a couple of grams, with paper towel. Rub it in, rub it in hard. You'll start to see it adhering to the surface of the uh, plastic sheet and rub it for about five minutes with paper towel, rub it in there as best you can and then uh, you can use an orbital sander I happen to have these uh, looks like brass uh, with a uh, rubber type coating on the bottom and what I will do is rub that extra hard right at the end and then you should be good to go so over here we're seeing a very nice voltage, open voltage of 1.41 volts. Now what is the cell? It's an aluminum air battery or cell, non-rechargeable. It wouldn't be cost efficient to charge it up. The interesting thing is it's very flat. So there you see on the top the face with the graphite is facing down and there's a very light layer of activated carbon and manganese dioxide, a uh, very smooth area, and this uh, graphite conducting plastic is in contact with that as your current collector. The paper towel, the electrolyte is aqueous sodium hydroxide, and then from pie pan, a piece of aluminum on the bottom. So you basically have an aluminum air battery, but it's extremely flat. It's it's getting to the point compared to a lot of these batteries that it's almost two-dimensional and uh, it's good to go we're at 1.42 now what kind of current do you get well from a setup like this don't expect a huge current you're going to get the uh, microamps probably what are we getting 109 110 microamps and we'll see if it's a steady output but just for terms of working with this plastic graphite, it's just a nice way to demonstrate that it is effective. It is indeed working. And uh, with these aluminum air batteries, that's about the flattest one I've seen. You can hook them up in parallel if you need to uh, uh, boost that amperage 110, 111, or widen the area of this. But uh, let's go back to the open voltage and it's uh, rebounding very quickly 1.42 volts so the main purpose of this is to show you that if you prepare properly the polypropylene surface and rub in graphite you're going to have a very nice flat electrode for use in applications such as this and I'll give you the reference to the YouTube video where I saw this last night okay take care bye for now